Shalom, uh, former Knesset member Yoni Shedbon. Shalom, Yoni, and shalom for all the people that are watching us in Ayn and English. So as uh, we're marking a decade, 10 years since the Second Lebanon War, you're uh, coming out with a book about your experience from that war. Uh, this book that I wrote is about our experience and my experience as a commander in the Israeli army during the Second Lebanon War, and especially about the uh, binge bill battle that my friend, my commander, Ray Klein, uh, who jumped on the grenade and saved our soldiers. This, the, this book is talking about our story, our experience, and what and about how to make a decision during an extreme situation. And when we look back at this war, the main question is, did Israel win? Did Israel come out victorious from this war? Actually, there is a gap between what we have uh, experienced as the soldiers and commander in the field and what's happening in the government. In each battle, we saw that we beat every uh, uh, Hezbollah uh, soldiers or commanders or unit, but what's happening in the government, and what's happening in the senior commander in the army, that there was no uh, goals to the army. No one know what's happening after Binge Bill, what's happening after our battle. And this gap between the soldiers in the field and the senior commanders and the government was really, we, we saw it in the field. So Yoni, when you were out there on the field, what was the feeling that you had regarding the support you had from the people, the state, the leadership? First, I want to say that uh, if we were looking uh, 10 years ago, this was, th these uh, years was the most silent years in the North uh, since the Second Lebanon War. So we have to thank that and to thank this, our soldiers and our army and uh, our government that we did what we want to do. But we have, I have to say that there is also a gap between the Israeli society, what they understood, understood what's happening in the uh, war and what, and, uh, and, and the, and what's happening in the field, actually, in the field and the battle. When we, f when we finished the, uh, the battle in Binge Bill in the South Lebanon, we felt that we won this battle. We had our blood, the blood of our friends in our uniforms, but we understood that we uh, killed 100 Hezbollah uh, warriors. But when we returned to Israel and we saw what's happening in the newspaper, that the, uh, I, the articles and the highlights was uh, this war, it's not a war that's so necessary and uh, the soldiers die for nothing, we understood that there is a gap between what's happening in the field and how the Israeli society understanding what's happening in the, uh, uh, actually in the war. I have to say that the, uh, the Tsuketan operation uh, in two years ago, it's a chazara uh, for what's happening in, in the Second Lebanon War. We saw that in, in the last war in the South, most of the Israeli people in the South or in the, or in the centers in Tel Aviv, and of course, the Israeli soldiers were unit, unity. So uh, all the the, uh, the media, the Israeli people, and the soldiers work together. And we can't have to to make crit criticism, but after the war, not during the war, and to get an operation, it's Chazara B'Shuva after the uh, Second Lebanon War. So today, you know, many people, even of our viewers abroad, are contemplating regarding joining the IDF. What is your message to them, especially in wake of? What we're seeing, the delegitimization campaigns against Israel, and especially against the IDF. As a lieutenant colonel in the army and the <clears throat> commander of battalion, I have to say, to serve the Israeli army, it's a right, it's a schut for everybody, for every Israeli and every Jewish all around the world. And the Israeli army, it is, it's the army of Am Israel, what we call the Tzva Am. You meet all the kind of persons of the Israeli society, people from the towns and the south and the north, kibbutzim and moshavim, and you feel what's happening, what is achdut in the, in the, Israel, in the, uh, in the army, what's achdut is in Am Israel. And for everybody, for me, it's a right to serve in the army. And we understand that the, there is a security situation in Israel. It's, 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 it's a complex situation. And in the north, in the, in the, of course, from Hezbollah, in the south, from uh, Hamas, there is a need that young people like you like people in the United States, in France, or in Israel, have the, the right and the duty to serve in the army. And of course, when there is the BDS movement, 
that is going want to do, to make delegitimation to the Israeli army, we need people that believe and understand what they do and why they are going to the army. So you are a former Knesset member. What's next? Are we going to see you back in the Knesset? In the last year uh, since the election, uh, for me it's a year for thinking, for uh, understanding what's happening, what is happening now in the politics, in the po and what happened in the last election. And uh, I think that with Yachad movement, we uh, understand that the Torah, the values of the Torah, and to make unity, to make a chdud for all kinds of Israel, it's very important. But we have to understand that politics, it's a, it's a hard game. And we have to prepare to the next election. Uh, actually, I, don't I didn't make a decision where I'm going to go, but I want to return to politics. I'm thinking, I'm sure, that serving the army and serve as a politician in the Knesset is the same thing. If you want to help Am Israel, if you want to help your society, your Havra Israelit, and help the Jews all around the world, you have to, uh, to be involved. In the, uh, in the as a politician as a, in, in the politics. Former Knesset Yoni Shedbon, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Yoni, and thank you for all the watcher of I9 in English. And I'm inviting you to read my book Tachatesh. Now it's in Hebrew, but in the future they will be also in English. Uh, thank you very much.